All right, we are live. We are back in the basement. You notice here from last time, we are just trying to purge, get the house ready for sale sometime in 2019. So that's where we get everything there, all the kids stuff there. But anyway, tonight I just received a box uh, from Leatherman. Uh, I did an order customization on one of the pieces. So I wanted to do an unboxing of that. Hadn't seen it yet, so I just want to get it. And I figured this is I guess the first opportunity to actually go through my Leatherman collection. Haven't done that yet. Haven't done any knife stuff in a while, so I might as well do that since it is uh, April Fools. No, it has nothing to do with that. I do have a box. I do have a collection here. So what I'm going to do here, if you're watching this on the replay, I'll have timestamps as I go through the different uh, Leatherman in my collection. And also when I'm actually going to open up the box and see what I ordered and take a look at an example of their customization. So this is one of the new services that Leatherman is providing so you, when you order your multi-tool some of the models you have the option to customize it so it's very similar to uh, the Dijo knife I mean, if you remember this little knife here so if you were to go on their website uh, you had the option to laser etch a pattern on the blade change the wood and write some text on the handle on each side so it kind of increased the price of it uh, but uh, I always say that if I had, if I needed to get another one, I'll probably go through the customization route and they have a whole bunch of patterns and stuff like that. So Leatherman uh, started uh, offering that uh, this year or this year, a few months ago. Uh, they have some of their newer models coming out, but uh, it was really funny. I think uh, it was before Christmas, was it? Uh, Leatherman Canada were doing a search for brand ambassadors. I put my name in, somebody forwarded the link. I said, oh, let's see what uh, what's going on. Obviously, I didn't get in. However, they did send uh, a coupon for my time or whatever. So I was able to get a, a sweet deal and uh, got some stuff ordered. Uh, but before I open up the box, I will just go through some of my Leatherman collection. I've been uh, buying some Leatherman products for, oh, well, over 10 years, 14, 15 years now. And uh, I was always a different state of outdoorsmen, different type of activities. I wanted a different tool, but this is the first one that I got here. It comes in with a little fake leather and little stretch thing here. This is the, uh, the Juice, the CS4 model. And uh, this was actually a pretty fun uh, multi-tool for me. I uh, kind of liked it a lot. There's a number of things I really liked about it. Uh, one of the things uh, that I really liked, you had a very simple uh, blade to it, but that's, that wasn't the tool I used the most. I used the, the scissors. These are probably the best scissors uh, I've used so far in the Leatherman. Uh, obviously, you have the uh, bottle opener, can opener, and the corkscrew, which is very important uh, because this multi-tool comes... Uh, with me now in our emergency bag did a video on this a little while ago But the bag also comes with us when we do camping. So this is kind of our bug out 24 hour first skate kit bag So this is in the bag now uh, So we always have access to uh, the corkscrew in case the missus while camping uh, Wants a bottle of wine. We have that here and then we discovered that there's bags of wine so that kind of Did with that. But anyway, one of the things I really liked about uh, this tool you had your full uh, Phillips head screwdriver uh, This tool worked out really good. The only issue that I've had with it is that one of the retention springs Here on the back here kind of broke you see the gap there that broke mm, Four or five years into it and the the end result it kind of creates a little bit more tension So some of the tools here at the top uh, require a little bit of a push in to get it in there and the uh, flathead screwdrivers are almost are very difficult to pull out uh, in it here, so uh, don't use the screwdrivers uh, that uh, that much. But uh, one of the tools that I did, one of the reasons why I did take get the tool, is because he also included the saw. So between the knife, the scissors, uh, and the all, these were uh, this was a very good multi tool. But when the retention spring broke on it, then you know. Yes, you get the warranty and all that stuff, but I wanted to get another one. So after I uh, wanted something else, 
I got me something else. This was during the time where I believe you had the Wave, uh, you had the Surge, you had I think another one at the time. But anyway, this is the the Blast, and this is I think this is my favorite tool here. Um, comes with the Zytel inserts here, to, not as hard as your hands. Um, you have uh, the full bit. A Phillips head screwdriver here. You got the lock here. You have to press in to unlock it with all the tools uh, You had the scissors Which is not as impressive as the one on the juice, but still did a fairly good job uh, uh, Can opener all that stuff. You have a little file which I never used uh, This one also included uh, The saw which I use quite a bit you can see how dirty it is and then you have the uh, flathead screwdriver bits. You have the, the one really small screwdriver and Phillips head. And uh, one issue that happened with mine, one of them cracked a little bit at the tip here. But I don't really use that one a lot. This is the size I use for my flathead screwdriver. But anyway, this, this ended up being, like I said, one of my more favorite uh, Leatherman tools. Uh, anything liked around the house changing uh, sockets and we're in a little bit of older house so changing the sockets light switches ceiling fans this is always around and uh, I really enjoyed it it's discontinued unfortunately and I think this was one of the last ones they included the leather case with it so you don't you don't see that very often here uh, so I uh, don't know what prompted me well once you get Two Leathermans. You gotta you gotta keep going. You gotta keep collecting. Kind of like Pokemon at this point. And uh, this came up. This was a while ago too. Uh, Skeletool. This is my second Skeletool. I lost the first one, and somebody may have found it at Kishimokujik National Park as I'm walking down a uh, service road. They probably seen it on the ground. So anyway, a few years later, I bought another one. They were on sale. Uh, these are just. I just I just like the look of this one here, but this is a very simple uh, seven in one tool. Uh, you had your pliers here. You get your uh, belt clip. You have one of these uh, inserts for your screwdriver bits, and uh, you have the friction lock here for your Phillips head right here. Uh, there's no other tools on the inside. You had the cool carabiner bottle opener here. And then you had uh, the one-handed uh, knife. So my first version was the straight blade. Uh, and then, of course, I think now they only do the, the serrated blade or certain versions will have the straight blade versus serrated. Anyway, um, it's not my favorite Leatherman. And I'll tell you why. The biggest issue is these curves here. So when you're holding it like this, it's kinda, it, it kind of forces your hand up. And when you're trying to open it up and close, I always got it caught in the meat of my hand here, right? Get get pinched, then like that. And then when you flip it around, you can see here you have the screwdriver bit digs into your hand depending on some of the circumstances. So, you know, if you're probably wearing gloves, not so bad, but it's not on the top of my list. I'll probably use it more for knives, but, uh, but really do like the look of it. And then the last one that I bought, this one I bought uh, recently, and I forgot that I bought it. I bought this uh, after Christmas sale at Cabela's or whatever, but this is the uh, Leatherman Rev. And this was in between Sidekick and a few other ones. This was kind of like the middle option. One of them was really cheap. One of them was kind of expensive. This was in the middle, but very similar. Leatherman had the, that point of a number of years ago that where they would literally have three models that there were very hard to distinguish between them with the, the facility or the use of it is. But uh, the rep looks pretty good. I cannot give you much thought on it. I haven't really used it. Have a little beefier belt clip. I noticed that the knife blades on the outside, but it's really, it's not one hand operation. You gotta do two hands. Nice little thin blade here. Little liner lock for that one. Uh, for your uh, screwdrivers, um, we have, uh, let's see, well, can opener, bottle opener, one and a half inch ruler, file on the other end, 
package opener, which we'll use momentarily. And then you have the uh, half bit Phillips and your uh, flathead screwdriver like this. This is bigger, I think, than the other one. So it uh, looks like very basic. You know, I'd probably uh, throw this, keep this in the toolbox or in the truck or whatever, um, or, or, or keep it more for home. But yeah, uh, we'll give it a try. I think a lot of people didn't like it. Uh, but I think as you start using, you might uh, might like it. Um, does not come with a case. So this is when they started producing uh, tools with uh, no case options. So anyway, so I keep the package opener here. So finally at the point of an order. So again, uh, I didn't make the cut for Leather, Leatherman Canada brand ambassador, but... Uh, I think uh, if you look at a lot of these outdoor brands now, they really, Ambassador means a really good photographer on Instagram. And I don't do a lot because I don't carry these blades a lot anymore because for work, uh, I'm on a plane every couple days, so I can't carry nothing to go through screening. So I'm gonna use a package opener here. Open up the box. So yeah, basically I had a, a one-time uh, coupon discount on a purchase up to five items so bought a couple of items and one of them is going to be a gift and the other one's for myself where I use the customization so uh, I designed the customization on a Sunday a last Sunday actually and then Tuesday I got the notification that uh, the order was shipped and I just got it this afternoon now, one thing about the email notification about the um, the tracking number, it gave me a link to UPS, but it was really FedEx that delivered the package. So every time I was clicking on the link to see where my package was, I couldn't find the number because it was the wrong company. So I got, uh, here's one item here. So I got, as a gift, have a nephew that's graduating uh, high school and uh, I got his brother last year the same thing. I got him a Leatherman juice with the uh, sin, sin, uh, orange scales. And uh, this one here is very, I thought this would be a nice one here. Get your pliers. Get your uh, little flathead screwdrivers here. You got your uh, bottle cap can opener get your scissors nice scissors here and uh, yeah the knife so I figured this would be a pretty nice uh, gift get my smudges off of it put it back in the box so anyway um, I bought uh, his brother the granite uh, scales so he got the orange one so I thought this would be kind of nice for, for graduation so the other one that I got and that's about it uh, the other thing that I ordered it is the Surge. Got the Surge Black. And that was part of the customization. Uh, you can change, depending on the model, you might have different, you get the stainless steel version. I end up opting for the black because I don't have black in my collection in terms of metals. So this is the heavy duty one. Uh, comes with the black nylon sheath. I believe it has the molly kind of stuff on it. What else we got in here? We got, what is this? Oh, placement, little file and a diamond edge file. Did not know they would throw that in. Cool. And of course the, oh, shoot, what was that? This is the, uh, oh, uh, square bit, Robinson bit came, came wrong with it here. So anyway, so Leatherman Surge Black, got it customized, used the customization service here. So. Uh, when you go on the Leatherman uh, website, there are a number of uh, models that you can customize it. 
kind of like the Dijo knife I mentioned here. So you can customize the uh, blade and the handles. You can uh, do artwork, pattern, or text. And uh, depending on the item you choose, it's, it's just incremental costs. So if to add a text, it's another $10. If you want to use an image, it's $22 extra. If you want to use something from their library, it's $19. If you want to use a pattern, it's another $22. So it's very quickly can jump up the price of it. But I did get black and I opted for some text etching here. And I just got uh, avoiding chores on it here. Man, this thing is beefy for the surge. I didn't do anything else in terms of the, um, the customization. So yeah, looks exactly the way I uh, wanted to. So like I said, you could uh, get stuff uh, done on the blades, knife blades, not the ax blade, but on the knife blades if you wanted to. But yeah, wow, this thing's big. A little bit of oil on it here. Hmm. What is this? This is a 21 tool knife. Dang. This thing's gonna need some work. It's the first one you can actually smell the oil on it here. Compared to the Rev, how big this thing is. Even the blast. The blast wasn't, I never thought that was a small one. The surge compared to the blast. Whew, that's a difference. But anyway, yeah, so I opted for this one here for a heavier duty one here. So again, uh, the purpose of that is I used the customization service. So they was able to uh, etch that. Uh, depending on what you're looking for, not all models can do the, uh, the laser etching. Uh, I got it within, uh, you know, within a week. So that was kind of cool. So I'm going to be playing around with this. I don't think I'm going to, I don't know about this, uh, this case. I might use something else make something else for me if I want to start carrying this but uh, yeah that's about it that's all I got here uh, for those watching live I was just doing a, a Leatherman collection review and I ordered a couple pieces uh, I'll put some time stamps here you can look at the other blades and reason why uh, what I was looking for for this one here and um, yeah that's about it I got nothing else here going on unless some people want to comment those are watching live. This is really hard. 21 tools. So we get your pliers. Uh, premium replaceable wire cutters here. Get their standard wire cutters. Where's that? Uh, standard wire cutters here at the bottom. Electrical crimper. Where the frick is that? Oh, they say it's down here. There's a little notch here. Oh, okay. Uh, wire stripper. Wire stripper. Wire stripper. Wire stripper. Where is it? This is the problem with 21 tools. Ah, there it is. There it is, right there. Wire, that notch there, wire stripper. 420 HC knife, serrated blade. Ah, there's the, uh, the changeable bit. Man, everything's so oily in this one. I wonder if it's the uh, the oiliness is based on the fact that I got it customized. So let's see what else we got here. Uh, that, that. We got little ruler markings right here on the surge. Anything else? No other tools in there. So we got the little flathead screwdriver. We got the awl. Here, this is a great tool. Love that tool. Uh, what else we got? This is the worst part doing this live. You don't know where all the tools are at. Oh, here's the scissors. Not spring loaded. Am I missing something? Other side, you got the knife. Oh, no, this is the, what is this, serrated knife? Oh, liner lock. Uh, uh, okay, did that. There's the knife blade, not too bad. 
liner lock also. And is there anything here? Ah! Oh, the saw. There we go. This is why I have this piece. I was wondering why I had this piece. Yeah, smoking ape. So, this is a removable uh, bit here, saw blade. And then they throw this file in the diamond, kind of very fine file here. Oh, okay. Oh, I see that. I will never be carrying this. Like, I don't. I've never used a file on any of my Leatherman tools. So. If it has a saw blade, that's great. It's replaceable. Uh, what else we got here? Spring action scissors, doubt it. All with thread loop, a ruler, a can opener, metal wood file, diamond coated file, blade exchanger, large bit. Yeah, I think that's about it. Not bad, nice and beefy for sure. Holy moly. Hey, let me guys, let me know which one would you prefer? Surge, black, with a little customization on it. The Rev, a little bit smaller, fewer tools. The Old Blast, or uh, Wave, I guess that's uh, close, second. The Old Skeletool, if you want some of that, or Freestyle, whatever it's called now. And then finally, one of the Juices. CS4, or in my other box here, this is a gift. I'm not going to open it up with my oily and dirty hands here. Uh, the CS2, which I think is not a bad one, but CS4 is probably my favorite one here. So, anyway, let me know in the comments what you guys think. What are your favorite Leatherman uh, tools? And again, the purpose of the live stream here today I just received the package, I had did an order, got one of these tools customized, and all one's going to be a gift. So, that's it. That's all I got going on here. I got nothing else. That's it. All right. That's it. We'll talk to you guys later. Goodbye.